Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Booked with a Capital D. So very recently, I was tagged by Erica at the Perks of Books for the Books to Movies tag where I'm required to list a number of novels that I think would make really good movies. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. Um, I'm gonna pretend that didn't happen. First on the list is The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Neffenager. I apologize if I am butchering her last name. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. They've already made a movie of this. I'm sorry, people, but I'm going to pretend that movie does not exist. Like, it just did not compare. If I were to try really, really hard to crack and tear away my book snob goggles, I think the movie by itself, it's, it's a decent one. It's a it's a nice little generic romance movie about a husband who time travels here and there. But as far as book adapted movies go, just does not make the cut. The book itself is written in such a poetic, poignant manner and it also had a great sense of humor about itself. And this movie, it just felt really, really generic and run-of-the-mill in spite of it having the time travel element to it. You guys have only seen the movie but have not read the book. Oh my god, you have no idea what you are missing. I think the only thing they did right in the movie was casting Rachel McAdams as Claire. I really like that choice in casting. But other than that, it really deserves to be remade. I really think if this movie was given to a way more ambitious and artistic director like Darren Aronofsky or Alfonso Caron, it would have become something amazing. But instead, we have the movie we have today, for better and for worse. Uh. Next on the list is Peter Nimble and His Fantastic Eyes by Jonathan Oxier. Uh, why do these people have such difficult last names? For those of you who are a big fan of Peter Pan or the invention of Hugo Cabaret or any fantasy adventure that involves children, this is definitely one to pick up and I think this would make a fantastic movie. Peter Nimble, a 10 year old orphan boy who is blind, he is given a box that contains three pairs of magical eyes, each with their own specific power. He then travels to this lost magical kingdom with a really corrupt ruler and he basically has to save the day with his wits, the magical eyes, and some very unlikely friends. It's a very visual book. Oxier, he just manages to create some really beautiful, vivid fantasy lands and I think it would just make for some awesome eye candy on the big screen. And the story itself, it's just a really timeless, fun, swashbuckling, fantasy-filled adventure that I think anyone can enjoy. Uh, I'd also like The Diviners to be turned into a movie, and I say that very cautiously just because I am still on a high from reading this book. I had to stop talking about this book, it seems like I'm mentioning it every other video. If they were to turn this into a movie or a miniseries, I would have impossibly high expectations. I, I'd be a little nervous, would have to be given to the right team of people who loved the story and really knew what they were doing. Last but not least, I would love to see The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer get turned into a series of movies. Now, I have to be very specific about this. I would want them to be animated movies. No, sorry, scratch that. I would want them to be anime movies. This needs to be turned into an anime. I'll even be bold enough to say that I think Marissa Meyer would agree with me. For those of you who do not know, Marissa Meyer is a loud and proud anime fan. In fact, way before she got her book deal, she actually wrote Sailor Moon fan fiction under the pseudonym Alicia Blade. For those of you who do not believe me, you could still find her profile on fanfiction.net down below in the description box. Just in case if you're in the need for a Sailor Moon fix. I think in terms of animation, you could just get away with anything. Any of you who are familiar with anime, you know that their animation, they're not just cartoons for little kids. They kind of blow your mind in terms of how crazy they're willing to go. And I think the sci-fi world of Cinder and Scarlet, Rapunzel and Snow White, it would just translate so well into Japanese animation. I just really wouldn't like it if this was turned into a live action movie. I don't know, in terms of female driven stories, Hollywood 
has not always been able to pull through for us. Now, if this was being turned into a live action movie, bam, Harry Shum Jr. for Prince Kai. Now, I don't think Harry Shum Jr. is the next Chinese Laurence Olivier or anything like that, but I definitely think he can pull off the sweet, charismatic, flirtatious nature of Prince Kai. Still not convinced that he would make a good Prince Kai. BAM! How about now? Ah, <sighs> you are welcome, ladies. So those are basically the books I would love to see get turned into a movie or miniseries. Tell me if you agree with any of my choices. I would love to hear what you think. And that's it for me today at Booked with a Capital D. Bye! Huh, I wonder if Rachel Berry can hook me up with him.